Okay, so what we've got is a Vortex 6, though it says Boulay 6 on the side, no idea why. And there's uh, the air pipes, the air pipes go out through there and go over to that point over there where the little housing sits with the blower in it. There's the cable all ready to connect up. That's the inlet with a 200 mil invert, which is it means 200 mil to the bottom of the pipe from the surface of the ground, which is quite low. So we're going to build this. We're going to build this ground level up here to the edge of that, and then gradually tail it away as we go down there because we're deeper down there. And then that's the that's the inspection chamber on the inlet side where the effluent goes in. The pipe goes along there, goes up here, for now, underneath all this, so we've got an inspection, a little inspection chamber here, so we can, uh, in the future, just stab off and pick up the sink waste over there, well, we're not going to do it for the moment, and then the pipe goes through there, because this is the shower, this is the gents, this is the ladies, a dripping tap, the water comes, the water comes in now, I've got running water in there, obviously needs a bit of a clean up, second hand, and a sewage pipe, so all this is level, it runs out of this end, which is the wrong end really, for us, but there we go. Runs out of there, goes down in that trench. That's, that's the water, etc., going in. Through the inspection. Down here, ground falls away anyway, so, but uh, hence why we kept it high. So that is goes in there, that's 50 mil, we finished this side, it's going to be 50 mil above the ground level, which is right, this side obviously, it's about 300 out, so you can see how much it falls the ground, even though it doesn't look like it from there to there. There's, a, there's our outflow inspection, goes down to here, I worked, I worked out which way was dead downhill, which was like that, so we've got a bit of a bend here, so we can get dead downhill, it comes to here, there's a T under this point, and it's dead level from there, all the way across to there, so the, the kind of outflow is going to be evenly distributed from that way to that way, and then it goes down there, you know, basically that's a, that's a ballast down that way and down that way. And under the bottom of them pipes, they just slide all the way underneath so it can disperse into the soil. Now this is actually, this is actually clean enough to discharge into a ditch which is over there, so at some point if it doesn't work with a shallow amount of if it doesn't work and we get effluent bubbling up we will run a basically a catchment trench a catchment, catchment pipe all the way across the back pick up in this this ditch here not much of a ditch but the reason I've done it now is because the neighbour has got a big pond over there and the last one I want is like any kind of any kind of products from sewage, even if it's 0.02% or whatever, ending up in his pond where it collects and may fester over the summer. So I thought, even though it's theoretically clean enough to discharge into a river or a ditch, and that's what it's certificated for, we are basically going to try and lose it in the ground. I know it's a six person, it's a six person um, treatment package. It's very rarely going to be any more than one. But the advantage of this model is you can dial down. You've got little controls inside. So we've got this one here, which is our, that's our primary kind of uh, airflow, which bubbles up in there. And you're supposed to make it look like it's uh, boiling up and then any any effluent including any little solids to go out and it end up in that little thing in there and get pretty much broken up by the heavy bubbling and then uh, these 
this is our kind of uh, aerobic because there's a big bubble under there so it's basically underneath there there's there's a uh, air will bubble up and it will basically help the uh, matter break down aerobically and over here you've got an, an basically an anaerobic where all the sludge comes in but it's a sludge return gets pumped around to there so the idea is uh, it needs some carbon over this side to completely break down secondarily the waste matter so taking some sludge back out of the bottom of this return it over this side means this keeps breaking down so what actually happens is quite a bit of gas goes up that pipe which I haven't done that bit yet but back up here we need a pipe like a soil stack basically coming out of here going up above there and the idea is that will vent to the atmosphere hydrogen and carbon dioxide which is like kind of the secondarily secondary breaking down of the uh, sewage components so that's the plan anyway if it doesn't work out we'll update you